Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're inside of Starfield where we have got a load of news including reveals from Todd Howard. The battle against Skyrim and Fallout which is, is absolutely baffling and completely beyond me so we're going to take a look at that today and some interesting factors inside of the game that you may well have missed. So with that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor advanced gg the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market my favorite flavor is cherry vanilla but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description utilize code cloud at checkout and we can dive on with this so starting off we have todd howard reveals how many people at bethesda are still working on Starfield. Now, in a recent video, Todd actually reveals how many developers are still assigned to Starfield, as well as how this may affect the look inside of Elder Scrolls 6. Now, while the Elder Scrolls 6 entered the development stage at Bethesda, Todd Howard reveals that the majority of the studio is still working on Starfield, and the latest Bethesda title broke several major milestones, garnering plenty of interest at launch on both PC and Xbox. But support for the game fizzled out in the following weeks as now even Skyrim has more players than Starfield on Steam. Now we're going to take a look at that in just a second but though the features such as Shipbuilder and Starfield have seen near universal praise from the community a significant number of players weren't exactly thrilled with the implementation of procedural generation and the lack of proper space exploration in Starfield coupled with the planetary exploration that started monotonous to some likely contributed to its popularity dropping since release and this does definitely seem to be the case when we start looking at the numbers as they just stated over there the elder scrolls versus starfield is actually ridiculous with elder scrolls skyrim special edition actually having more players on it right now and with a near enough the same amount of people in the last 24 hours playing as starfield that should definitely not be the case considering the time gate on this from Starfield's release in 2023 and Elder Scrolls releasing their special edition in 2016. This is a little bit of a shame when we start to look at it, but even if we look at the other games such as Fallout 4, 21 minutes ago, based on this image, it had only a couple of thousand people less than Starfield, which again should not be the case. Now, Starfield was ambitious and in development for years, but ultimately it fell somewhat flat at launch and it presented a universe of opportunities, but it quickly became apparent that the opportunities were rinse and repeat renditions of the same formula deployed over and over and over again. And it felt as though nothing about Starfield was memorable, from the factions to the side missions and even the companions to the villain. When we make these comparisons to things like Skyrim and Fallout, it just doesn't even come close. For most people, one month down the line, and most people have already forgotten about Starfield for the most part, this is something which is really frustrating, but for those people who are still playing and have got through the first run through on it and are now on New Game Plus, the bugs seem to be leaving players scratching their heads. Now, obviously, these powers are crucial. Now, obviously, Bethesda's epic open world space adventure offers a unique gameplay experience where players can explore a vast universe. On top of that, though, all while they're completing quests and unlocking powerful abilities known as Starborn Powers. Now, these powers are crucial elements to the gameplay experience for many and can be enhanced through New Game Plus, a game mode that allows players to revisit the game story all while retaining their abilities and knowledge. Yet, Starfield's new Game Plus is proving to be chaotic for some players who are encountering severe bugs and glitches, including permanent invisibility and being stuck in phased time. Yep, yeah, yeah, you heard me right. Now, upon entering Starfield's new Game Plus mode, players are essentially reborn into a new universe, and every game has a different way of approaching New Game Plus, but Starfield is one that adds replayability to the game and also allows players to continue to strengthen their 24 Starborn powers by visiting the game's 
controversially tedious temples. Now, in fact, the temples have been labeled so dreadful that players are cheating for the first time just to bypass them. Now, reaching New Game Plus 10 is possible after reaching a total of these 240 total temples, meaning that any player who reaches this milestone has managed a remarkable achievement or simply cheated numerous times. However, it does seem like it comes with a handful of unexpected challenges for players at the very least. This is something which actually irritates the life out of me because replayability inside of these sorts of games are extremely important and especially when we start looking at some of the more niche areas of the game such as the Starborn powers, you'd like to think that they wouldn't be a freaking problem. Permanent invisibility? Could you imagine being the sucker that got stuck with that and just thought it'll change, carried on playing and then puff, you've, you've wasted a load of time and had to jump into an old save file. It's not for me bro, it's not not for me. Now looking at some cool things inside of Starfield though, there does seem to be some really cool ships that are being made. Now Starfield players have used a shipbuilder to create all sorts of inspiring designs as one fan shared their starship made a resemble a sword and this thing looks absolutely incredible. As you can see right here you can see that it does resemble a sword really really well and it's, it seems to be made quite effectively so round of applause to the guy that actually made that but while Starfield has its issues that players are hoping Bethesda will address, the shipbuilder has been one of those features that received near universal praise from the community. As the Starfield ship mods have already expanded on what the base game allows by removing certain restrictions and the release of official modding tools in early 2024 that are due to come. They will also likely see an expansion of habitat types and structural part variety. Very cool indeed, and this guy managed to get about 3,000 upvotes on Reddit with his post here, and the sword does look pretty damn cool to say the least. But one thing which I find absolutely incredible right here was a post that I never even noticed was in the game. There's a post on Reddit right now with over 1.7 thousand upvotes that states, I don't believe I've ever seen this posted anywhere, with Vlad's workout sheets found on the eye. This is hilarious. He's got all sorts from dumbbell rows to lunges, leg raises, decline sit-ups, wipers. Man, there is so much in this. It's absolutely incredible. Now, every part of me wants to actually try and run this. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm massively into fitness and I have got a fitness Instagram. I'll leave it on screen right now so you can check it out. Link is down in the description if you want to come and drop me a follow. We've been hitting all sorts of stuff in the gym right now, but I am tempted to go in and do Vladimir Sal's actual workout routine. I think this would be absolutely hilarious and a nice little segment for Starfield and the crossover with the fitness. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below. Would you like to see me actually attempt this one? We may even upload this to the channel if you guys want it enough. This is a very entertaining one for me and one that I think would do very, very well indeed. Now, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on because unfortunately, that is all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for being such amazing people and I know that life inside of Starfield is quite slow and droll at the moment, but we are hoping that some things are due to change in the near future. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. Appreciate all your faces, but as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.